In a completely unrelated story, the annual study uh, of American history, the nation's report card, has just been released. Told you a little bit about this yesterday. Only 20% of fourth graders performed at or above a proficient level. They didn't even know what the Declaration of Independence was. Eighth graders, it was worse. Only 17% performed at that proficient level. And for 12th graders, 12%. We went over some of the questions yesterday. And it is stunning how little our kids know. You cannot be a country. You cannot survive if you don't even know your own history. Now, baselessly, I charge that this is intentional, partly. I mean, what better way to finally achieve the progressive dream uh, of abandoning the Constitution, which they feel is a charter of negative liberties, than to make it old, antiquated document that nobody knows anything at all about. But I said it's partly a progressive agenda. Let's not just single out the, um, the progressives or the teachers or the kids or anything else. Hello, we are part of the problem as well. Because most of us aren't much better. We have taken our freedoms for granted for so long, we've lost our passion for it because all we really do when we were kids is memorize dates. Who cares? Not the stories. And the stories are the, what is the important part. The adults have been caught on video now, put together by the Media Research Center. They're out front of the White House, and they were asked, can you tell us a little bit about our country? Really, really easy question. Like, who's the Vice President of the United States? Watch us. Who is the Vice President of the United States? It's that crazy guy who doesn't know much. The crazy guy who doesn't know much. Who is the Speaker of the House? Speaker of the House, is it, um, is, I know it's not Pelosi anymore. I know the name if I heard it, but I don't recognize it at the moment. I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff. Okay, okay. Nope. Oh, the crier. The guy who cries all the time. The guy who cries all the time. <laughs> Can you name one other member of uh, the U.S. House of Representatives? The most famous one at the moment, Anthony Weiner. How sad is that?